If you hail from East Anglia, or have travelled along the Norfolk and the Suffolk coasts, the Cambridge of Fens and Essex, chances are that you've heard the tales of a large demonic dog that goes by the name of the Black Shot. There are many speculations as to who or what Black Shuck really is. According to the Great Yarmouth Mercury, he is a devil sidekick. According to W.A. Dutt in his 1901 book The Highways and Byways in East Anglia, he is Black Hound of Odin, brought to East Anglia by the Vikings. In the Handbook of Contemporary Paganism by James R. Lewis, the author highlights a poem written by Martin Newell about Black Shuck in which he also claims that the Hound is part of the wild hunt led by Odin. The most intriguing thing about the Black Shuck is that his appearance also varies according to numerous sightings. One sighting claimed that he was the average size of a dog with glowing red eyes. Others claim that he is the size of a calf, whereas others say that he is as tall as a horse. But it doesn't end here. The most obscure and terrifying depictions of this hound from hell is that he can be seen without a head or floating on a cloud of mist. Another variation was written by W.A. Dutt, and he describes the black shark as so. He takes the form of a huge black dog, and prowls along the dark lanes and the lonesome field footpaths, where although his howling makes the hearer's blood run cold, his footfalls make no sound. You may know him at once should you see him by his fiery eye. He has but one, and that like the cyclops is in the middle of his head. But such an encounter might bring you the worst of luck. It is even said that to meet him is to be warned of your death and it will occur before the end of the year. So you will do well to shut your eyes if you hear him howling. Shut them even if you are uncertain whether it is the dog fiend or the voice of the wind that you hear. Should you never set eyes on our Norfolk snarly owl, you may perhaps doubt his existence, and like other learned folks, tell us that his story is nothing but the old Scandinavian myth of the Black Hound of Odin brought to us by the Vikings who long ago settled down on the Norfolk coast. Some sightings have even been reported one of which was told to the Eastern Daily Press in 1972 by Graham Grant, who was a coast guard on the Gorston Rescue Headquarters. Looking to the north at about 4.45am at daybreak on Wednesday last, April 19th, I saw a large black hound type dog on the beach about a quarter of a mile north of the lookout. What made me look was that the dog was running and then stopping as if looking for someone. I watched it for one to two minutes and then it vanished before my eyes. I kept on looking for a time, but it did not reappear. Mr. Grant added that the beach had been flattened by bulldozers, so there was nowhere for the dog to hide, let alone a mysterious dog-like entity. But Mr. Grant was also aware, and revealed, that despite having arrived in Norfolk, he was very much aware of a legend. The legends of Black Shuck don't end there, on the 4th of August, 1577, a large black dog burst through the doors of St. Mary's Church in Bungay, accompanied by a loud clap of thunder. It ran up the nave, past a large congregation, where it killed a man and a boy, and caused the church steeple to fall through the roof, where it then altered its course and headed to Blithber Church, where it mauled and killed several more people. The locals say that this was the event of the devil, and that scorch marks on the door are referred to as the devil's fingerprints. Such marks can still be seen to this very day. Black Shuck isn't just said to roam at the coastlines, but also dark lanes and lonesome paths that cross through fields. Its howling is so loud that it can be heard from miles around, but that was the only sound that this creature of chaos will make. In the summer of 1977, Lantern, the astonishing journal of the Lowestoft-based Borderline Science Investigation Group, had in their possession an article that was written by Ivan Bunn about the Black Shuck. He mentioned 
that there was a sighting of the Black Shuck at Rocklands that ended in nothing but tragedy. A chance meeting in 1893 with a demonic dog on a lonesome lane and the idiocy of ignoring such a warning to steer away from what some believe to be the devil's messenger. Ivan had written, The story is told of how at Rockland, Norfolk, one night a man and his companion were driving along a lane when suddenly, right in their path, stood a huge, uncanny dog. The driver pushed on in spite of his companion's warning, but as the cart touched the thing, the air was alive with flames and a hideous, sulfurous stench loaded the atmosphere. Within a short time, the overbold driver died, and Shuck has not been seen since in these parts. Ivan then added, One of the legendary aspects of Shuck's character is his apparent ability in the foretelling of death. The impression generally given by the legends is that everyone and anyone who encounters him will meet with some misfortune, usually death within a short time, or else someone close to them will. With a total of 74 stories so far collected, only 17 instances of death followed when the witness actually attributed the death to the encounter and the appearance of Shuck. Here is a case cited by McEwen in 1986, involving a four-year-old girl who had been evacuated during World War II. My encounter took place one late afternoon in summer, when I had been sent to bed but was far from sleepy. I was sitting at the end of a big brass bedstead, playing with the ornamental knobs and looking out of the window when I was aware of a scratching noise, and an enormous black dog walked in from the direction of the fireplace on my left passed around the end of the bed, between me and the window, round the other corner of the bed and towards the door. As the dog passed between me and the window, it swung its head around to stare at me. It had very large, very red eyes which glowed from inside as if lit up, and it looked at me and I was quite terrified, and very much aware of the creature's breath which was warm and strong as a gust of wind. The animal must have been very tall as I was sitting on the old-fashioned bedstead which was quite high, and her eyes were level. Funnily enough, by the time it reached the door it vanished. I assure you that I was wide awake at the time and sat for quite some long time, wondering about what I had seen, and to be truthful, too scared to get into bed, to get under the covers and to go to sleep. I clearly remembered my mother and our host sitting in the garden in the late sun and talking and hearing the ringing of the bell on the weekly fried fish van from Birmingham as it went through the village. I'm sure I was not dreaming, and I have never forgotten the experience, remembering to the last detail how I felt and what this dog looked like. Littleport in Cambridgeshire has two legends of spectral black dogs that have been linked with the black shark, except these differ in some rather significant ways. Local folklorist W. H. Barrett relates the tale of a large black dog haunting the area after having been killed while trying to rescue a girl from a lustful friar in the pre-reformation times, while another folklorist, Enid Porter, claims stories of a black dog haunting the A-10 road as a result of its owner having drowned in the nearby river in the 1800s. In May 2014, a large dog was excavated at Layston Abbey by Dick Ventures, and this was mentioned in the East Anglian Daily Times, which nodded towards the skeleton being that of Black Shuck. The Daily Mail then picked up on the article which reported that Shuck was seven feet tall. Dick Ventures denied any claims that this dog was Black Shuck, saying that the skeleton found was no larger than 72 centimetres tall and around the size of a mastiff. The carbon dating of the bones indicated the date of either 1650 to 1690, 1730 to 1810, or post-1920, and that the animal was likely to have been interred when there was no trace of the original building remaining. It is this tale that's brought some inspiration into adaptions of the shuck that we may have seen today, such as those being in the 2019 movie Annabelle Comes Home 
where it features a black shuck as one of the spirits revived by the doll. Other interpretations include the popular collaboration, the SCP Foundation, Secure, Contain, Protect. And this has a file on the creature known as SCP-023, which is based on the incident of Shuck of Bungie. In modified form, the Black Shuck is described by J.K. Rowling in her 1999 novel Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where Harry's godfather, Sirius Black, who is an animagus, changes into the shape of a large black dog, which at the beginning of the book is said to be the Grim, an omen of imminent death to those who see it, much like the omen based around the Black Shuck. And lastly, the novel Sherlock Holmes, The Hound of the Baskervilles, is also a nod towards the Black Shuck. It's clear to see that this strange and terrifying creature is just still as much of a mystery to this very day, and whether or not this strange apparition appears to this day is unknown. Have you seen any sightings of the Black Shuck? Or have you heard any tales about him? Drop a comment down below, and if you've enjoyed this look into one of the most infamous beings of the UK, please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, my little obscurities. Don't sleep too light, or the creatures might bite.